Hey Canada, happy National Breastfeeding Week. My name is Dr. Megan Azad from the University of Manitoba, where my lab studies breastfeeding and human milk. I find this fascinating because human milk is the only food that has specifically evolved to feed human beings. There's probably a lot we could learn from it. On top of that, it serves as an immune system for newborn babies, and it changes from day to day, week to week, and even morning to night. That is a pretty amazing biological system. And when you think about how fundamentally important it is to infant development and growth and to our survival as a species, it's actually pretty surprising how little we know about how it all works. So I guess my lab has a lot of work to do. Happy Breastfeeding Week. My name is Natalie Rodriguez and I'm the program director for the Azad Lab. Breastfeeding research for me represents hope and possibility. Breastfeeding provides optimal nutrition and immune protection to infants Healthy, well-growing babies is something many of us take for granted. However, in low middle income or developing countries such as Pakistan, 60% of infants will experience stunted growth or wasting by the age of six months. It is so important that we understand why this is happening and breast milk offers us a glimpse into the why. The International Milk Composition Consortium was established in 2020 to unite maternal child health and human milk researchers with statistical experts to identify human milk components linked to infant growth and resilience. The consortium spans five countries, including Canada, Burkina Faso, Nepal, Tanzania, and Pakistan. We hope to understand why some breastfed infants still fail to achieve optimal growth and how we can optimize nutrition for infants who can't be breastfed. Together, the IMIC Consortium hopes to improve the outcomes for infants globally, providing hope and a possibility of a healthy future. I love breast milk and the science of breastfeeding because breast milk is so complex and contains all the essential nutrients an infant needs along with important immunoactive compounds and microbes. It has many components that contribute to the healthy development of infants and there's still so much to learn about it. My research focuses on bacteria in breast milk and its implications for infant health. For example, breast milk may provide bacteria to the infant gut that are important for long-term health. Hi, I'm Marilee Brockway, and I'm a PhD prepared nurse that works as a postdoc in the lab of Dr. Megan Azad at the University of Manitoba. And I research breastfeeding and breast milk science. For Canadian Breastfeeding Week, we've been asked to tell you why we think breastfeeding is really interesting and cool to research. So the reason why I like to research breastfeeding is because it's actually a very, very hard and complex thing to do. A lot of people think because it's natural, it's easy, and it's actually not. And the reason it's not is because we find that society as a whole isn't very supportive to breastfeeding mothers. Um, sure, it's uh, a lot more acceptable to breastfeed in public these days, but you have to think there's a lot of barriers out there that prevent women from breastfeeding to the extent that they want. And in fact, about 60% of moms aren't successful in their breastfeeding goals. So what does that mean? I think that a way to help women to be successful with breastfeeding is to improve their breastfeeding self-efficacy, which is kind of like confidence around breastfeeding. And ways that we can improve the breastfeeding self-efficacy are things like letting them see or be exposed to other women breastfeeding, um, making sure that mom is really well taken care of after she has a baby. So if she's feeling well physically and feeling well emotionally and she's well supported in the home or, or by her social environment, then she's gonna feel a lot better about breastfeeding um, and really encouraging her and supporting her to breastfeed by giving her uh, positive reinforcements and celebrating things that are going well about breastfeeding. So if the baby latches well, or has a really good feed, or even a good poop after breastfeeding, those are all things to celebrate, so performance accomplishments. There's lots of other really complex things to know about breastfeeding and to think about. So if you're a mom who's pregnant, we really encourage you to reach out early before you have the baby to get some breastfeeding supports. And if you're a mom who's had a baby and you're struggling with breastfeeding, um, there's lots of community supports available for you. Even in this time of COVID, uh, we've really come around to doing some good online and interactive stuff uh, where you can access virtually. So contact, um, if you're in Alberta, 811 to look at some breastfeeding resources. Or if you're elsewhere, um, you can contact your doctor or your public health agency or whoever um, is in your neighborhood to help you with breastfeeding. Also, if you know someone who's been breastfeeding, call them up and uh, ask about their opinions and their advice as well. Thanks. Hey. 
Human milk is nature's perfect gift to us. In addition to other numerous benefits, it has been shown to provide the ideal nutrition and immune protection for the developing child. Human milk is incredibly dynamic, and I believe that by learning more about breastfeeding science, we get to understand one of nature's most powerful tools. This knowledge will provide us with significant health, emotional, environmental, and economic benefits. I support breastfeeding for a healthier planet. Happy Breastfeeding Week, Canada! Happy Canadian Breastfeeding Week! I'm Dr. Sarah Reyes. I am a breastfeeding researcher and postdoctoral fellow in Dr. Megan Azad's lab at the University of Manitoba. What I love most about human milk and breastfeeding science is that we have learned that human milk serves as a bridge between the in utero environment and full independence. Babies are born without fully developed immune or metabolic systems, and human milk provides antibodies, appetite regulating hormones, even microbes that help develop these systems. I love studying breastfeeding because it sheds light on an amazing interaction between mom and baby that's been happening for centuries, but we still know relatively little about. I think doing breastfeeding research allows us to recognize how special and important breast milk is which can help improve breastfeeding support and education programs, and also help us provide better supplements for babies who can't be breastfed. Happy Canadian Breastfeeding Week, everybody. So what do I love about human milk and breastfeeding science? I, as a microbiologist, have always tried to relate it with something like this. When the mother is feeding the baby, she's actually sending a troop of warriors. And here, when I say troop of warriors, the, the shields, the swords, and the horses, those are actually the complex sugar molecules. Uh, and the warriors are the good bacteria or the good microbes and both both of them together just as a chemical soup they march towards the infant scat that plays a very important role in the in the infant health hi i'm stephanie gogan the data manager and analyst for the azad lab why do i love human milk and breastfeeding research are the statistical methodologies used in order to answer research questions this became more important now in my life since i have a three-month-old niece when my brother and sister-in-law first got pregnant, they asked me a lot of questions about human milk and breastfeeding, and I was able to interpret and talk about different research papers that have been published, not by just our lab, but other um, breast milk and human milk researchers. So that's why I love human milk and breastfeeding research.